Hey everybody, Mr. Peters here. Uh, I'm going to start something new, uh, an online read aloud. Uh, part of my own personal challenge this year is to read uh, more on a regular basis and I've gotten some suggestions from some of our boys and girls here at school. Uh, one other thing I wanted to do was post myself and maybe some others here at the school reading books to you and so if you get a chance you want to hear a good story um, we definitely read a lot here at school but if you ever have a chance and you want to hear something else outside of school we're gonna have this posted for you as well so let's listen to our first book um, I think it's a great one Miss Mahoney our third grade teacher let me borrow this one uh, it's really inspiring to me and I hope that you enjoy it so here comes the story what do you do with an idea written by Kobe Yamada illustrated by May Beesom Let's take a look inside the book. There's the title page. One day I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered. What do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed like kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew big, bigger, and we became friends. I showed it to other people, even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew. And so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands. Because, it said, it is good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then, one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. I don't know how to describe it, 
but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea, you change the world. The end. So there you have it, everybody. What do you do with an idea? An amazing book um, really goes to show you that when you have an idea, you've got to persevere with it, even if other people think it might not be the greatest thing in the world and they might think you're a little bit crazy. Uh, stick with it. Boys and girls, hope you enjoyed this one. There'll be a new read aloud coming soon. And keep on reading, everybody. Bye-bye.